God has plans to prosper you, give you hope and a future too. So let me remind you of what you have the power to do. You can win, live your dreams, reach your goals, be happy, you can make it. Get motivated with Cassandra Hello, you're listening to the Cassandra Mack Podcast, where we maximize success and de-stress from the mess through a biblical lens. Make sure to hang on until the end. I have a special prayer that I'm going to pray just for you. When you get a moment, stop by the website, CassandraMackMinistries.com. Check out our books, inspirational mugs, hoodies, and t-shirts, all designed with our mental health in mind to inspire us all to live our blessed life. So a big thank you to those of you who support this ministry with your financial offerings and donations. We could not do what we do without you. So a big thank you to you. Thank you to the members of the Cassandra Mack YouTube channel for your support at the membership level. So happy birthday. If this is your birthday month, we are still in the month of April. Happy birthday. And where are you listening from? What part of the world? What country? What city? What state? Represent? Let me know. So today's episode is being sponsored by our Faith Notes Devotional. So if you like devotionals, if you like to start your mornings with prayer, with devotion, then the Faith Notes Devotion will surely be a wonderful addition to your devotional library. And it's available at Amazon.com. So today we're continuing our series on four reasons why you may find yourself letting people walk all over you. So, so far we discussed uh, the first two reasons. Reason number one was fear of conflict and confrontation. Reason number two, you may have developed a habit of people pleasing. Today we're going to focus on reason number three, which is lack of confidence, lack of confidence. So how does confidence affect our ability to set boundaries, our ability to say no and set us up to have people walk all over us. Well, it's easy to have your confidence worn down when people guilt trip you, when people gaslight you, when people say things against your reputation and integrity that are not true. And especially if they spread rumors about you when other people are believing and agreeing with this. So if someone is constantly making you feel like whatever you do is never enough, you lent them $100, but you should have lent them 500 you uh, pick them up and drop them off at a particular place, but rather than doing it one time, you should be doing it for the whole month. Whatever it is that you do, it is never good enough. And if they feel you're a doormat, you didn't lay yourself down even lower so they could wipe your feet on you even more. It's never enough. And so when you have people around you that are constantly making you feel like who you are is not enough, what you do is not enough, that can take a toll on your confidence if you are not mindful. This is why it is so important for the believer to know who they are in God. And if you don't know who you are in God, then read your Bible. Your Bible is replete. Our Bible, the Bible, is replete with scriptures that speak to our identity as children of the Most High God. In addition to the Bible, pick up my book, Speaking Life Into Your I Am. That is a book that takes very specific scriptures from the Bible that speak to our identity and it walks you through the process of affirming that identity. So when the Bible says things like we are fearfully and wonderfully made, right? How do we begin to affirm the fact that we're fearfully and wonderfully made by God? How do we show up for life knowing that we're fearfully and wonderfully made? And that's just one of the uh, biblical affirmations in the Bible. But it walks you through that process of affirming this so that you can begin to develop confidence, not based on the world, not based on how you were raised, not based on anything other than who God says you are in his word. And again, the book is speaking life into your I am. And so what happens, right, is if our self-esteem, and self-esteem is not the same thing as confidence, but they go hand in hand. So if our self-esteem, right, our self-esteem becomes worn down by people calling us names like selfish. You're so selfish. You're so 
inconsiderate you're someone then you can insert the adjective that they say about you because they can't have their way you've set a boundary you won't do the thing that they're asking you to do and the thing is you have done a lot but the one time you say no the one time you put your foot down the one time you say i have had enough now you are the worst person uh walking the face of this earth according to them and so when you're constantly hearing that it can affect your self-esteem, your sense of self-worth, your sense of identity if you internalize what they say. If you sit there, meditate on it, and you begin to believe their lies. This is why the way that we overcome lies, because we know that the lies come from the enemy, and the enemy, he is a thief, right? He comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And one of the ways that he will do that, beside our own thoughts, is using, using other people, using the things that other people say. And so one of the ways that we begin to break down lies, the only way really is with the truth of God's word. And so this is why it is so important to stay in your word. And so you may find yourself convincing yourself that, well, maybe what they say is true. And, and maybe I'm not worthy of being treated with dignity and respect and, and courtesy. Maybe nobody does like me. Maybe I'm good for nothing. So we got to be mindful of believing lies from the enemy and being deceived by empty words. And so usually when other people take advantage of you, more often than not, when other people take advantage of you, when other people get upset with you because they can't manipulate you, right, into doing their bidding, it's important to know that it rarely has anything to do with you personally. Know that it is a tactic used by those who want to control and manipulate others to wear you down to wear down your confidence, to wear down your self-esteem, to wear down your sense of self-worth so that you'll become more malleable to their demands, to their desires. And uh, in reality, they're the ones, the very thing they're accusing you of being selfish, being entitled, especially if you are a giving person. So I want to be clear what I'm talking about, especially if you are a giving person. And this is the one time you've said no. This is the time that you have said enough is enough or you have reevaluated, reassessed the relationship, and you're like, you know what? I'm being used. Like, this is a one-sided relationship, and you have decided to step back and put your foot down, then usually the very things that they're calling you, they're projecting those qualities on you that they don't want to face within themselves. And know that this is a facade so that they don't have to be accountable for their selfishness, for their manipulation. And so make sure that you are building up your confidence. That's what I am getting at. And make sure that you're building up your confidence by knowing who you are in God. And so this is what the scriptures have to tell us about our confidence, right? So that you are very clear that your confidence is not in the hands of another human being. Your confidence comes from God. And so Hebrews 10, Hebrews 10 verse 34 says, do not throw away your confidence for it has a rich reward. So the fact that the scriptures say, do not throw away your confidence, you know what that means? It means that you have seeds of confidence. You have seeds of confidence on the inside of you that inherently come from who you are in God. You can't throw something away unless you have it to begin with. If I throw away food on my plate, it means that there's food on my plate. I can't throw away something that I don't possess. So the fact that the scripture says, do not throw away your confidence means that you have confidence, but you haven't cultivated the confidence within. So there are seeds of confidence, right? Everything starts as a seed. Even faith starts out as a mustard seed. And so when we understand that seeds are first and then the seed bears fruit, so you're not bearing the fruit of confidence, but the seed is already inside of you. So make sure that you're not throwing away your confidence. And one of the ways that you will be able to make sure that you're not throwing away your confidence is by making sure that you are reading the word of God and then and that you are applying God's word to your identity rather than what somebody who's being manipulative is saying about you. And so that is one way to really begin to strengthen your confidence. So I hope that you found this helpful. And as you are looking through the four reasons, as you're reviewing the four reasons why uh, we sometimes allow people to walk all over us, 
you can begin to pinpoint where you may need to make some changes in your interactions with people who are manipulative. Because remember, a person who's manipulative is probably not going to change on their own because their manipulation is helping them get what they want. And so one of the ways that we change an interaction by changing how we interact with the other person. So begin to pinpoint, is it reason number one, fear of conflict? Is it reason number two, you developed a habit of people pleasing? Is it reason number three that you're lacking confidence? You're not cultivating the seeds of confidence. You're throwing away your confidence. Or is it a combination of all of these three? And begin to really talk to God about it. Go to God in your prayer life and ask God to guide you in these areas. Ask God to give you wisdom in these areas because he gives his wisdom freely. With that being said, if you are not a member of the Cassandra Mac YouTube channel, I would encourage you to become a member, particularly at the second tier. This gives you access to the Wednesday Wellness Club, which is a therapeutic group that meets twice a month by telephone conference call. And we focus on mental well-being, emotional mastery, total life success through a biblical lens. And we dive deep into issues like what we're talking about today and you know on the podcast and the videos we talk about it on a cursory level but if you really want to dive deep and get specific tools to really begin to change your life i would encourage you to invest in yourself by becoming a member of the cassandra mac youtube channel at the tier that gives you access to the wednesday wellness club so to become a member you uh simply uh hit the button that says join if you're watching this from youtube You'll also see a link in the video description box and you can uh, hit that link, click that link, and you will see that uh, there will be three tiers. Make sure that you're joining at the tier of membership that's going to give you access to the Wednesday Wellness Club. So each tier gives you access to different features. So read through those features so that you're joining at the tier that's going to benefit you the most. So with that being said, let's close out in prayer. Dear Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for reminding us that we already have seeds of confidence on the inside. Help us to not throw away our confidence. Help us to be reminded of who you say we are in, our, in your word so that we never, ever, ever forget who we truly are according to your word. We seal this prayer in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. If this podcast, if this ministry in general is a blessing to you, please consider sowing a financial seed. Please consider giving an offering and support the ministry that supports and feeds your mental well-being, your emotional well-being. If you would like to have more tips, tools, and teachings, you can join me on a Sunday Church by phone. To find out more, visit our website, CassandraMacMinistries.com. On the website, you will see uh, the flyer with the number, the access code, and the times of Church by Phone. And again, consider becoming a member of the Cassandra Mac YouTube channel so that you have access to features beyond the podcast and beyond the public videos. So with that being said, have an amazing day. Let's do our best to take care of ourselves and be kinder to one another. Until next time, I'll see you next week for part four.